Well, um, this is uh, Adrian Aquarius. Um, so this morning I uh, I posted something on a group on Facebook, and it was about how it was about this article on Huffington Post about you know this Asian woman. She posted this article about why single mothers um are awesome and cool to date and you know they're like the best choice you know that trent sheldon shit um and i, I posted it and uh, i just kind of i thought it was kind of like weird because it's like they champion single motherhood but yet um it's kind of ironic with the media that you know they'll champion single mothers but yet when it's like black single mothers you know that's when like the the right wingers and the fox news and your, sometimes your coons well mostly your coons will kind of jump and attack them and just kind of blame them for everything and that was kind of like the point um of the uh of you know of the post I was trying to make that like hey there's like a double standard of like even to what I said like in another video that I made like there is a double standard on you know how other races of single mothers are somewhat championed somewhat you know and kind of yet you know black women are kind of the blunt bad side of it and um you know I, I posted it on this group and uh, it just kind of escalated to like an argument and I was like, ah, geez, I, I didn't want to create any friction or whatnot. Um, I felt kind of bad because, you know, sometimes, you know, I, I'm starting to see that, you know, women are getting tired of the, ba or the male bashing and it's kind of a 2008 thing that, you know, really needs to get over. But I was just kind of making my point that well single mothers aren't my my top choice and that was really what i was kind of trying to say i had so many points on the article itself but my point was just this that hey they're not my best choice because a i'm young and plus i'm in georgia so it, it's not really my best choice because i don't want to you know if i'm dealing with a single mother i'm dealing with a teen mom who is kind of confused doesn't really have a clear idea on what she wants to do with her life she's revolved around drama and you know fool foolishness and going to the club so you know that's why i was just saying like hey for me based off my area dating a single mom is not my choice because I have to look at the bonehead dudes and I'm like, eh, you know, you're, you're kind of, I sometimes just kind of cringe when I see females getting knocked up about, um, about, you know, you would want to get knocked up by a dude who is like, you know, you, like, you knew he wasn't going to amount to anything. So like, why, why give him that your, your body, you know? Um, I'll admit sometimes I am a little tired of the male bashing, but the the, the, the black female bashing, but I, I feel like sometimes they kind of, black women tend to, uh, take critiques, you know, poorly. I think they're not used to it still. And I feel like when you kind of say something as general as what I said, I just said, you know, they're not my best choice. Um, hey, I'm just pointing out there's like a double standard. Hey, are they counting these stereotypes of black single moms in this article? And that's really what I was trying to say. Um, uh, That's what I was really trying to say, and I might have to, like, um, put a little comment saying, like, hey, guys, you kind of 
took the conversation into a, a to a, like another direction because I wanted to talk about the double standards of you know teen parenting or you know single moms that's what I was trying to say and um I, you know I, I for once I was just kind of being nice to the single moms who were offended I was like hey uh, I'm just saying that hey they're not my best they're not my number one choice because I'm 22, you know, if I was like 45 and I didn't have anybody, you know, of course, maybe a teen mom would be my best option. There's not going to be a lot of, of black women who don't have kids by choice or, or because they were single for a long period of time. There's not a lot of those, a lot of those type of women. And, you know, usually those type of women are like the workaholics and, you know, there, there's, you know, um, I can just kind of see a power struggle coming eventually. But um, sometimes I will say that there are dudes who are taking immature route to talking about black women and I do my best to kind of distance myself from them because... It gets a little too hectic, but you know, there, there's some guys that I, I will respect no matter what they say about black women. I like the, I like uh, Jason Black, the Black Authority. You know, he, he comes hard on the single moms. You know, he's unrelenting, especially when it comes down to weight. Um, the thing is, is that I understand where he's coming from because you know black men we should be striving for the best we should have our women like on top with you know fleek you know in their prime you know I, you know it, it seems like a lot of women are butthurt you know in the minute you talk about weight and i say like hey man I, I you know i want a you know a nicely shaped woman it's like like what you talking about you know what, what's wrong with big women what's wrong with plus size you know you know, everybody's technically obese and overweight. And it, it gets into like these silly semantics about how, we, how women should never be excluded from a man's standards. Yet, when you reverse the script, you know, you, we, we don't, we see, you know, we don't see um, black women excu excluding men. We see women rejecting men all the time. And, you know, when guys kind of make a cry and a plea about it, like, hey, why are you rejecting me because I'm a nice guy? Why are you rejecting me because I, I go to school? Why are you rejecting me because I'm, I don't have a half swag or shit like that? You know, when we when the guys make the plea and make the and cry out, you know, they're the bad guys. Yeah. And what the females do, it, it's like, oh, well. You're you're not understanding the situation. You're not understanding this. You don't understand what what women go through, and it's like uh, to me, I I just feel like there's so many double standards in gender in the black community that it's gonna take a long time, and I feel like there's just too many wars that black men have to deal with because there's no idea agenda for us to pursue you know you know most guys